Today we have moved the studio for this review because we are going to review the Alpha T10 HV. HV stands for high voltage. This is a 10 kilowatt hybrid system. So it has a battery up here. So it has an inverter here, connections, and a meter here. And here we have observation. This is what you will see on your phone if you have this system. So first of all, this system is uh, was released a few years ago, and it, it really is a very, very advanced system, and can you can put up to 16 kilowatt of panels. So even though it's a 10 kilowatt uh, output max, you can put 16 kilowatt oversize of panels, and when you're charging the battery, it can utilize more than 10 kilowatt, maybe up to 12. So even though it's a max 10 kilowatt output AC, sometimes you can get a little bit more, which is unbelievable value. It basically means that it is a bigger inverter than the 10 kilowatt when you're charging the battery. So this system, um, this is a Chinese, Chinese manufacturer system, uh, like most uh, now. Even the European brands are made in China um, and then branded with a European brand. And in China now, it's not like it was before where you have different kinds of uh, bad equipment. It was all bad. Now China has developed the last 10 years to be able to do all levels of uh, equipment, uh, any kind of manufacturing almost. So you have the cheap, you have the middle, and you have the high. So this would be on the high range, middle to high range. Uh, oh, there are many systems that are a lot more expensive than this. For example, Tesla and Solar Edge, things like that. Uh, but it still is, it's not a cheap system. It's a system that's based on giving you quality. So uh, when we think about Chinese um, systems, uh, you should not think that it's automatically bad quality. That's that was the way that it was before. It's not like that anymore. And that just shows you also that the supplier in Thailand is a professional uh, supplier. It's a company called Solaris that is uh, distributing, supporting all the install installers in Thailand. It's a professional network where the installers and the customers are getting the support they need fast. It's not like we have to get uh, equipment from China every time something that we need some equipment. It's all ready in Thailand with the supplier. And the network of installers is um, a group of installers that are certified and approved. So when you get an alpha system now, you will get the proper installation and the proper support system. That's really important, obviously, because before it was like that, uh, you had installations that were not done correctly. And that's with Alpha and with all kinds of systems, because it is a little bit complicated to install. So then when we have the certified network, you don't have the wrong installations. You actually get uh, what you're supposed to get with the correct uh, support and everything. And the reason why it has to be like that is because it is a little bit, you know, there are many cables. So we can take a look at this. So first we have all the cables and connections here. It's communication with the battery. We have the strings going here and we have the ATS over here. So that is why that you need to know what you are doing and you need to have proper solar uh, electricians that uh, are educated in this to do the installation. A normal electrician will not understand DC electricity. So you can't really use a normal electrician to do this. They have to have training in how to do solar. So on this system, we have the MPPTs. We have two MPPTs. We have two strings each MPPT. So we are actually have the opportunity to put in four strings here. And that's a lot. Bit. Normally on a 10 kilowatt, you will see two or three. It's quite unusual to see find four uh, strings on two MPPTs. That's unusual. And it's very good um, to have that because let's say that you have a failure in the panel, then it will only affect the string that it is connected to. It will not affect the other strings. And that's really important. But 
failure is like, extremely rare because just when you have a good installation and quality equipment, failures are very, very rare. But even so, to have them independently in non-strings is, is very helpful in, in that sense. It doesn't affect uh, each other in the same way that if you had less MPPTs. So if we continue, we have communication uh, over here, and we have a breaker for the battery here. So it's communicating via cables, and then you have a button over here for a reset, breaker over here, all the safety equipment. So this is an LFP battery. Uh, that is, if you can compare to NMC, that was popular a few years ago. LFP is much safer. So it's almost impossible for this to catch fire on its own because the runaway is so high, the temperature that it has to have before it runs away, sort of goes out of, out of control, is so high that it almost can't happen. But even so, we have this extinguisher. Of course, you should have that when you, are, when you have a battery. It doesn't matter what you have. You sh even though it's very safe, have safety equipment ready. Uh, but that being said, LFP has really revolutionized uh, solar systems because they are so safe. The technology is so safe, and the way that the battery is organized inside makes it extremely safe. Actually, the battery doesn't start until about here. Uh, here is a BMS. It's a computer inside the battery that controls and measures everything and communicates with the inverter. So also heat from the battery doesn't hit uh, these cables. It has room for, for the heat uh, to spread out uh, above here. So the, the battery does not end here. Just uh, that's important knowledge. Now with the inverter, the inverter ends here and the heat sink is here. So actually this is installed a little bit too low. It should be a little bit higher. So uh, because it has a heat sink that uh, creates, inverters create a lot of heat. So the conversion from DC to AC electricity, it just, creates it. It's just uh, the way it is, the technology. So with today's te technology, you must have heat generation. But it's not enormous. Like I can touch can touch the heat sink itself. It's not very hot, but later in the day, it will be hotter because it is more production. So it's going to heat up uh, even more. But I can still touch it. Uh, it's no problem. But you should be aware of that. So you, you never put something on here or or do anything like that. So this system is very flexible. It can take up to six batteries. And because these are 256 volt, that means that the conversion loss is so little. So it's extremely effective batteries. And the conversion goes very fast and easy, which also means that one battery can push 10,000 watts. And that's, that's a lot. And normally on hybrid systems, you would have maybe 5,000 watts max per battery. That's the normal for 48 volt batteries. But Alpha has this 256 volts. So it's, yeah, it's pretty high technology just because it's, it's very unusual for manufacturers to make the high volt. It's more difficult to make. But in addition, then you get a lot less loss in the conversion and you can push 10,000 per battery. So it's unbelievable power in that sense. Obviously, when you have many batteries, you don't have to push 10,000 per battery because the max is 10,000 anyway So on this system. But you can put two of these together. That's uh, what we call a parallel function that we have actually done. And then you can connect six times six and have 12 batteries connected to two inverters like these and have 20,000 on the UPS. and. Uh, being able to push 20,000 from the batteries, uh, which is unbelievable. So you can imagine if you already have one of these and you want to expand, then you can actually now get another one and connect in parallel. They work as one system with a master. Um, actually, now we should call it host and follower, not master and slave. Uh, we should call, call it host and follower. So this would be the host and another one would be the follower. So the follower just follows, as it says, whatever the master decides. And in that sense, it works as one big system. 
So, so that's really cool to that it has the flexibility of these things. And uh, the ATS, every system must have. That is for when, the, if there is a problem with the solar, this switches automatically. So the UPS panel, this is what we call a UPS panel, can switch over to the grid, and you can have electricity um, on these things, these breakers, even though there's a failure with the, with the solar. So you might say, why would you ever do that? Because why should the solar system fail? Well, when you are in an on-grid situation, there are things happening on the grid. You have volt drops, you have transformers, malfunctioning, you have, you know, stuff going on on the grid that can cause failures. Uh, so, and if you don't prepare for that, you are setting yourself up for a situation where part of your house, these things, does not have power when, when there is a failure. That doesn't mean that it's caused by this. Most of the time it's caused by the grid. But as a proper installer, we always have to prepare for, for the worst, so to speak. Make it so that the customer has electricity if there's something going on. Uh, I mean, it could be an inverter failure too, uh, but normally it's a grid failure that causes the inverter to go into fault. This one switches over, you have power on the UPS, even though uh, you don't have the solar. So that's what this is for. So, and then we have the meter that's delivered by Alpha, which is nice so you don't have to think about do I have the correct meter? Do I have the correct CTs? It always comes with, with the equipment uh, delivered by Solaris. So you don't have to think about that. You know it's the correct stuff. And also it's auto-detected by the inverter. It didn't used to be like that. It used to be that you had to manually set up everything. But now it's auto automatic de detection, with, which makes it a lot easier. So installation of this is easier than it used to be. Uh, but there are still many, many possible ways of doing it wrong. So you still need a good company and a good uh, certified installer to get everything proper. So I think that's it. I mean, it's absolutely one of the best systems that you can get uh, regarding hybrid uh, functionality. So uh, we have installed this a lot. It's one of our favorite, uh, you know, one of our most sold uh, models. So we like it. We love it. Uh, and it has the functionality that you want from a modern 10 kilowatt hybrid with a very nice big uh, UPS. And this obviously is for three phase. You cannot connect this to a single phase supply. It must be on a three phase supply. Okay, okay. <laughs> so here we have the, uh, what it looks like on the phone. And this is really one of the nice things about the Alpha system is that you have uh, really nice monitoring. Simple, but at the same time, you can see many things. So here, if we click on these things, we can take things out and simplify. So now we are looking at only the battery. So we can see, you see at the time here, you can see that the battery came, was stopped the discharging around six, and then it started charging, and then it's full around nine. So, and then if you want to see the PV, now the PV, the energy from the panels comes in in yellow. So you can do it like that. It's extremely easy. And then you change the dates up here. So this is really nice uh, monitoring.